Hello everyone, WolfyCats here, back with another Hero Basics video, where I take a hero from Gigantic and tell you exactly what their abilities do at level 1. No upgrades, no talents, nothing special like that. This time we have Zandora the Star Knight. Zandora is a melee support hero with the tags Utility and Tank. So she is a she's a frontliner with, with uh, kind of heavy armor, uh, as you might think looking at her, and she brings utility in the forms of various auras that are tied to all of her abilities before we get into that though let's go over her stats zandora has 2250 health as well as 25 armor so she has i think the fourth highest maybe fifth highest amount of health in the game and uh she definitely has the most health and armor out of all of the support heroes uh actually tied with vadasi for most armor but let's jump right into her ability, starting with the left mouse button, which is called Star Lance Strike. It's a three hit melee attack combo that deals 105 damage post uh, pre mitigation. And then the third hit does slightly more at 135 on hit. It'll also reset the active aura duration. So the way that Zandora works, uh, like I said, is that her three auras on her right mouse button, Q and E, each one can only be only one can be active at a time. And when you use your left mouse button to deal damage, you essentially reset the duration of that aura. So it can be semi-permanent if you are constantly in combat. Normally the auras only have about a three second duration, but if you use Starland Strike with any aura, it's just gonna remain on the entire time. So it looks like this. And she has, she has slightly longer than normal melee attack range this is this is actually her melee attack range it's it's a bit further than a, a re the rest because i think the rest kind of had to be around here so it's about twice the distance of the normal uh melee attack so it's a pretty unique thing about her moving on we're going to go to the right mouse button now which is called strength or aura of strength uh, it has an active and the passive aura but on activation uh it deals a melee attack that just kind of strikes everyone that's in front of her in this small frontal cone area of effect that does 150 damage pre-mitigation. And for three seconds, uh, any allies within a five meter radius, including yourself, are given a 10% basic attack damage bonus. Now, this boost is only for your basic attacks. It's not all damage. It's just your LMBs. But it looks like this. Strike, on the th uh, strike uh, in front of you that does damage, and then your sword will glow orange kind of at the hilt. And then, like, uh, like I said, you know, doing your LMBs, keeping the aura active for the entirety. And then once you stop attacking, three more seconds will pass and then the aura will go away. And you see there's a there. You might have saw that the blue ring around where you're standing. That is the effect. That's kind of the effective area of your aura. And they're all about the same. Next, we'll go to Zandora's Q, which is called Aura of Haste. All area uh, on activation restores eight stamina. And then it activates the Aura of Haste, which grants in a 5 meter radius, boosts allies and self for 3 seconds, granting them 10% movement speed. And uh, this this aura is actually slightly unique. The buff will remain even if they leave the radius for 2 seconds afterward. So it's a 10% movement speed boost. The aura is blue. It looks like this. So very similar. Kind of the kind of the exact same animation as the, uh, as the right mouse button, as far as the glowing effect. It's just blue instead of orange. And, you know, using LMBs will continue this effect. That blue ring around you, that's where the that's where the speed boost is happening. It's very simple. And then finally, we have E, which is Aura of Life. On activation, the area will purify, which removes all debuffs on uh, allies and for yourself, and then makes them briefly immune to all incoming debuffs. I believe I believe it's only for a second and then in the area, uh, in a five meter radius, boosts allies and self for three seconds, gaining 25 healing per second. And this one also much like the Q, the healing will remain once you leave the area for just one second. So one final tick, uh, a total of about four ticks just on the cast. And this is a this is a unique ability as well. It is the only ability in the game that actually has a purify on a base ability. All all other supports and anyone that has a purify uh, conditions effect is part of an upgrade, but it looks like this. So you just kind of get a, you see the cleanse effect as well as the same area glow, you know, the same blue radius around you and your sword will have that same glow as the other two spells. It's just green. That green is the one that you know that the healing aura is active. 
and then just landing your basic attacks will extend the duration of your healing. And this is probably the this is probably the aura that you want to be in most often. Kind of you 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 really just want to use Q to kind of get in or maybe get out if you're in a sticky situation. And then you kind of want to stay you kind of want to stay in E most often and then maybe your right mouse button depending on the situation. But all of her auras have the exact same cooldown of 15 seconds and only one can be active at a time. So as soon as, and I'll show that actually right now, as soon as I use Q and I'll keep attacking and then I switch to green and the, the effect will, um, the cooldown will begin immediately. So you don't have to wait till the aura is gone. You don't have to like, um, you don't have to worry about not attacking or not, you know, extending the duration. Just once you activate the spell, it'll, it'll go on cooldown right away. But pretty long cooldowns, you kind of want to have your auras active as often as possible. Because uh, I think the I think a big impact comes from the fact that you can keep them up forever. And the reason that's kind of the reason why Zendor is so healthy and, and uh, tanky with the slightly increased melee attack range. Because you want to keep triggering auras as often as possible. Finally, Zendora's focus is called Vow of Shielding. In a 5 meter radius, which is the same radius as your auras, allies and self are granted a shield. And on Starland Strike, we'll store 75 shield for yourself. And it's important to know this uh, this effect here is only restore shield for yourself. Everyone else, once their shield is broken, it is destroyed. Um, and the the dura uh, each focus point increases the shield size and the shield duration. So shield size starts at 600, then 800 at rank 2, and 1,000 at rank 3. And shield duration starts at 5 seconds, then 6 seconds, and then 7 seconds at rank 3. So this is a very good... Um, this is a very good kind of turn the tide sort of focus and you kind of want to you you kind of want to use it when your enemy like when your team gets jumped or perhaps when you're all going in the same space and you want to use it preemptively because shielding is uh, i i think i explained that what i probably explained this in which video would it have been I explain this in a different video is what I'm trying to get at. That shielding works differently than actual. It's not a one to one ratio. Shields absorb 85% of the damage that you're taking. And then the remaining 15% goes to your actual health. So you can't use this when you're like less than 100 health. And then you're, you'll are you have a 600 health buffer. It doesn't work quite that way. You kind of want to use this maybe in the middle of a fight when everyone's around half health. Or maybe just like I said right away. But anyway it looks like this. And I will, I will go over here and, and show it kind of as I'm taking some damage and for a little while I actually did not think that the shielding that the shield actually did replenish I think there I think it was bugged for quite a while that your LMBs did not restore the shield uh while, while you were hitting but it does actually now work and that's really cool that it does but as you see you just kind of have that crystal effect that surrounded me for those five seconds and then that's just the shield it's a really cool animation <laughs> probably one of the coolest animations and it's actually a really good focus despite Zandora not exactly being the best character but that is it for Zandora very simple grasp uh, simple to grasp kit just kind of three auras one at a time each aura does a different thing uh, and you know in the deep dive for Zandora in the, in the very far future from now uh, you'll see kind of the upgrade path will slightly augment the way that some of the auras work or kind of add other effects but the general idea with Zendora is to get in, have an aura active as long as possible, extend it with your LMBs if you can, and then, you know, switch to the auras that are needed. And she's she's very beefy frontline. She's defensive. She's got good health. Um, and she she really is not a solo tank. I would highly recommend I would highly recommend against using her as a solo tank because she's really not good as a solo tank. She's definitely good at kind of uh enhancing a melee heavy party a melee heavy team comp so just keep that in mind but anyway thank you for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe and leave comments and all that sort of stuff i appreciate you guys being here have a good day and i will see you on the next one